Today we see how the Prime Minister announced the state of emergency. Did you see when he communicated during his address to the nation? How do you think of yeah. it? Um, you know, when when we trying to when usually the prime minister communicate in terms of declaring the state of emergency, this is to the intention of trying to limit the the mobility of the rest at this point to actually transfer from one place to one place. But when he's trying to to make this declaration, I to be honest, I think that's to communicate the message without a message within it, if you ask me. Because w w when, when we communicate message of, okay, you declare the state of emergency using this emergency act, people already know something is really serious happened. And because of this seriousness, people need to know what is need to know during this communication is what exactly is the impact to the community, what exactly is the impact to the mobility of, of that normal life, which is not normal anymore at this point. Mm -hmm. However, and besides, when communicating the state of emergency and the impact, what they're going to have, you have to also conclude and include what you want them to do. Whatever I, I, whatever I heard from that um, announcement, it's too many details in how the emergency operation center would set the meeting, too many details in the step of how the administrative board would actually work. That's not necessary. And there is lack of what to do. And also, if, if, if he wants to tell the situation, that there is a difference between announcing state of emergency using emergency act and to tell the people what situation Mm -hmm. of, of each of the period is. This is a mixed message all over. I don't even know that it, if, if the citizen got what exactly going to go on in the next two days, um, regardless what's going to happen on the 26th. The state yeah. of emergency is supposed to be the highest degree of legal enforcement in this kind of situation, right? But my feeling is that uh, he acted as if he was just issuing another directive. Because, yeah. I mean, as, as you said, he didn't really spell out exactly what the decree would mean to the lives of the people on the street. And, and we cannot help but draw in comparison with the address by the UK Prime Minister, Boris <laughs> Johnson, today. <laughs> so how do you see the differences? <laughs> Uh, a bit different would be, uh, first of all, personality. Th this, is, this is really like... This is not a point at all, but it's really annoying and trouble people when you look at the pe The leader of the nation comes out and want to actually declare the state of emergency. He should get rid of those masks and then <laughs> and then and then speak through his um, eyes and then gesture everything. This is at least of the point, but it's important because people are waiting. Second, if you really listen to the leader when they come out, there there are three different kinds of a communication when we listen to the leaders. First, which is very not very often, they come out and inspire and then call for national cooperation and blah blah blah. That's one thing that you do, but not very often. Second, you come out and tell the people what you ask for cooperation in details. That's the second kind that we see the leaders coming out. Third, whenever the situation get really serious, whenever the situation need the new directive, law, administrative action, and discipline people, then when the leaders have to come out and really seriously communicate the direct information, you don't need to communicate what directive would do because they already know all the power would be under your hands. But we need to see the detail. For example, you see all the leaders say, stay home, stay put, only come out when you get the necessary thing. The grocery store will be open for you at the limited time. If you want to travel, limit your travel, not going to communi communities. Don't go across border unless you're really necessary and get approval, those kind of things. And then all the details that you cannot communicate in the very first time, you tell the public that in the next 12 hours, 
you will come out and then tell the detail of each of how you can live your life as mm -hmm. normal as it should be under the decree. Yes. On wearing surgical masks, perhaps he <laughs> think it's the way to show from physical gesture that this is serious and he want to show that it's necessary to wear masks. Uh, there, there, there is a way to do that too. <laughs> if you want, if, if you want that gesture, you can perhaps choose between two ways. If you really want to wear that mask and then speak, you might want to actually wear the mask, the cloth mask, because you want to communicate that the cloth mask is usable too and it's enough. Mm -hmm. If you want to do that, use the cloth mask that is very normal. That's the one first thing. You have to wear the cloth mask that is normal, which I mean by normal is any ordinary people can find it. Mm. You don't have to use a very cute one that's not necessary. <laughs> and you can wear it tightly so that people know that they have to wear it tightly. And if you want to speak and show the people that the, the reason you wear it because you want to speak and all of your anything might come out, saliva or anything, then wear it tightly and just don't touch it. Mm. Just speak through it slowly, spell the word very clearly because the mask would be an obstacle of that thing if you really want to do it. Then you might want to listen to yourself first because <laughs> not everyone can speak through the mask and it's still clear. Yeah. Or you can use the other way around. You wear the mask, appearing on the microphone, address the nation that all the citizens, this is time that I need to declare state of emergency. By that, let me take the mask out. Mm -hmm. And then you take the mask out, hold it in your hands. And then when you stop speaking, <laughs> put it on. Have someone coming out as a coincident, spray the microphone. That would show us public as well how to do it. Yes. That's communication 101, Ajahn Tavita. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> so I think I think what is needed now is for someone in authority to come out and explain what the Prime Minister right. said today, right? Because yes. even if yourself, I mean, as the professor, as an Ajahn in this field, still have difficulties in understanding what the whole thing means <laughs> and how to conduct yourself in the next three, three weeks, I mean, I think the rest, I mean, there will be certainly many others who still have been confused as how to, to behave themselves. Correct. Because of, um, I think the intention is good though, to start with. The, the reason that he comes out and, and t uh, address the nation today, I think because the intention is good. He wants the public to try to get used to this decree mm -hmm. and perhaps prepare themselves and settling themselves. I, I think that's a good intention. However, as I said, to have this intention as good as it tend to be, <laughs> you need yeah. to give them something to prepare. So mm -hmm. to address it, let's say he has seven minutes. What, what would I do in seven minutes? You can come out and you can also say the needs. If you really want to tell the situation, use only one minute, that's enough. To tell the nation that if the situation right now, the capacity of medical doctors and everything else is trying to deal with it big time, but we need social distancing to be stricter. And then by doing that, we need to control and limit mobility of the people. Within that, in the next two days, we will issue the decree, blah, blah, blah. So the situation of that can be one minute. Mm -hmm. And use the rest of those minutes because under Article 9, only speak Article 9 would be five within that five minutes. In Article 9, there would be a limit time, space, activity, route or road or, or, or transportation, and then you're actually going to try to limit media, limit fake news, limit hoax and anything. And you want to be able to relocate or move the people off of the risk area or perhaps have them who would be detected and then move them to a shelter or any quarantine space that you want. Don't use those five minutes, explain to them that it would be this limitation and just wait for the next guideline to be coming, whatever that is. Yes. That would be seven minutes. So Ajahn Tavida, what do you like to see in the next two days when the state of emergency will have to be effective? How the Prime Minister should spend the time, five to seven minutes, not too long, and what <laughs> should be the outline of his content? 
Um, I think by the next day, not 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 another two days. I think by the next day, the prime minister should come out again, and using not a very long time, explaining how this decree would affect the normal life because. What the intention of the decree, even though it's trying to discipline and limit people, what exactly that it wants to do is trying to have the citizen discipline themselves, not to spread out and get into the risk area. However, be able to spend their life um, as normal as they could. Then the the explanation of the limit of actually this decree have to come out what exactly that is and not using the time to explain the high word of the legal thing does explain in an easy way what do you want the population and the citizen do and you perhaps can also at the very end conclude that that in order to 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 monitor and in order to enforce this the provincial governor and all of the medical personnel within the provincial government can also conduct this and then in the same direction so that people in the, out there, not only in Bangkok, can feel that they also be taken care, not controlling. I think these two words are different. You can use a, a emergency state of emergency decree to help people feel safer, not scared of them as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I think if, if I may add just a little. Yes. I think right now also, I'm sorry. I think right now also, apart, apart from trying to come out and explain the decree uh, uh, so that you can communicate to the people. Later on, if I were here, I would perhaps set the team to come out and start explaining the public of when this decree is out and then the pressing measure who's going from Bangkok to where, who entering each of the province, who coming in and out, will be done by the provincial government or the local authorities. It has to be communicated so that they know that all the people would be kind of taken care and head counts. He has to start communicate of how to manage, how to do space management in the local area to take care of people who are coming for screening detection and perhaps get the first primary care of treatment. Also communicate out how they're gonna deal with capacity of different places, mm -hmm. especially capacity of those um, medical places in the local area. And last but not the least, after the two days of this decree and how the government would do as a soft measure, not only hard measure, I think on the, on the fourth day, I think he has to start communicating how would the government help in terms of recovery, especially for the mm -hmm. tourists, for the um, labor outside of the, the formal and official system. I think yes. if, if I were his team, I would plan like this. Okay. I think yeah. what, what he needs to do very urgently is for the Prime Minister to have a conversation with the people. Yeah. It's a heart to heart talk to the people, telling the okay. people exactly what the country is facing. And, um, and what are the measures that the government is introducing means to them and the need for everyone to rally is to get uh, behind this uh, fight against this, uh, this uh, deadly virus. I think, uh, that's, I think that's something that the country may need in time of crisis like this, that the leader who really can share the feeling and, and, and to be honest, talk that to rally the people. I think so too, and he might have lost that chance already by by situation. I was, yeah. to be honest, I really, I really think at first that he's going to use this. To be honest, if I were him today, it's going to It's not going to come out like this. I'm going to address the nation and tell the nation that I know this declaration is really going to be scary to the people. But I think I made my executive decision on a very hard time. It's tear me apart. But I need this so that I can stop the mobility of risk. This sentence is easy. This sentence fit his personality that's of yeah. strong. That, that's, exact, that that's, that's exactly what Boris Johnson did today. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but I, you're I, not in Thailand, but in UK. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it fit his personality. Yeah, and. Yeah. And people know how hard it is for, for people for a person like him to address in such a way. It would come out naturally. Yeah. 
and he would gain a lot back because people start to feel sympathy. This is not a very easy decision. Everyone knows. Just use that as a point where this is not an easy decision. I made it anyway. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Tovida, for your insight and your suggestion on communication, especially what we need during this crisis. Thank you very much again. Thank you.